Sorry about the sound and video quality. I'm using my crappy webcam because I can't find the charger for my camera and it's dead, so I can't use it. Anyway, I'm making this video without my husband helping me uh, to organize my thoughts, and you'll understand why he helps by the time we get to the end of the video. All he really does is help organize my thoughts and prepare talking points because my bipolar mind just doesn't like to work in an organized way. He's good at writing, I'm good at this figure. So now you know I'm in four, but that's not the only mental illness that I have. And that's what this video is going to be about. Um, I'd like to start by encouraging anyone who, everyone who feels to seek help if they feel depressed, anxious, or just not right on a regular basis. Don't suffer alone. You know, there might be a mental illness and you might need treatment through therapy, medications, both. And if you are feeling suicidal, please tell someone. Because while you might feel like it's your only option, there are a lot of people who will be hurt if, or who will be very upset about you dying and there's so much you'll lose out on. I've personally attempted a few times and I can't even do myself right. <laughs> Good thing though. And I've hurt my loved ones just by attempting. I've been diagnosed bipolar, obviously, since I've already said that. I have general and social anxiety disorders, severe depression, borderline personality disorder, and PTSD on top of my physical ailment, which caused by being diabetic in 2011. So, you know, for the longest time I felt like I was alone with these problems, and didn't bother to seek out help because I was too afraid to find out what was wrong with me and uh, explore what triggered these issues but then I found others who have or have similar issues and they and my husband had a big part in this supporting and encouraging me finally convinced me to get help. It's a long difficult process that I have had to restart but with the help of my friends mostly online because I don't do well in social situations I'm starting over with a new therapist. Uh, insurance changed a while back and I just never bothered to find a new one. And uh, a psychiatrist, or a psychologist, psychiatrist, yeah, a psychiatrist to handle my psych meds rather than going through my uh, primary care physician who suggested that I go to the psychiatrist when I told him I thought I was losing my grip on reality. <laughs> that I've, I've been having trouble lately determining that I'm awake when I'm waking up and I haven't not quite opened my eyes yet. I'll think I'm looking at a Facebook status or watching something or talking to somebody and I have to tell myself, no I'm not, I have to open my eyes. <laughs> uh, I'm not really going to go deep into what causes my issues because I'm talking to a camera and I'll be posting this on the internet. But if you want to talk to me or ask me questions, feel free to message me on Twitter or on Facebook or shoot me a comment on here. I'll still be putting uh, suicide, I'll be putting my Twitter and my Facebook down in the description, but I'll also be putting suicide helpline and mental health and helpline numbers in the description for anybody who needs them. So please don't talk for a long time. Uh, sorry, this video is so depressing, but, uh, and it's kind of short, but if I want to get started into what goes on in my head, what causes some of my disorders aside from the hereditary one, you know, bipolar, the anxiety, this video would never end. Um, long story short, I was abused in various ways throughout my entire childhood, and a lot of it was yeah. Although, I will admit that I'm also grateful for it, because I grew up, like, nothing. I grew up to be nothing like the people I share genetics with. Who I don't really see as my family. My family is made up of my in-laws, extended family, 
for them, a few cousins, and quite a few of my friends, because I was raised to believe that your friends will come and go, but family will always be there for you, they're there forever. And my current family has stayed by me through everything I've been through the last, uh, everything that I've been coming to terms with over the past few years, and some of them stay even longer than that. Whereas those who raised me, alienated me, tried to guilt me, and make me jealous. Uh, my own grandmother told me not to tell her my address when I moved to the, into the apartment before we moved here because I didn't want my parents to know and she didn't, she told me she didn't want to have to keep things from my biological parents as opposed to my in-laws who I consider better parents than the ones I was born to. So yeah, so my head comes out, my mouth was out like alter or order and now you know when my husband helps me put my thoughts in order, <laughs> the ones that I have put down because I do write down what I want to say. It's just complete mumbo jumbo like this. <laughs> uh, so now you understand why he helps me to order the thoughts that I put down before I make my videos.